If there's one term that Coach Paterno used a lot in dealing with people and recruiting players, the word character. I mean, he, he, he did a great job of surrounding himself with people who understood that and that would look for those intangibles in people that went beyond just their natural ability. Uh, and, I, and you're talking about a guy that fits that bill perfectly, a guy like John Schaefer. People would follow him. He was a leader. He was a bright guy, well-spoken, genuine, sincere, uh, but he was the kind of guy that you could trust. And that's what this was all about. That's one of the things that attracted you here. I know it attracted me here. Uh, you know, you have certain dreams, you have certain goals as an individual, and you look for people that you feel that you can trust, that you can turn your will or surrender your will over to that's going to help you get there. And he was one of those people. I mean, you know, there, there's, a, there's a, uh, a biblical quote that says, you know, a, a people without a vision will eventually perish. And Coach Paterno was a visionary. He was the kind of guy that went out and found those people who were hungry to achieve and to be better than they were. And he would present to them this vision. And for those who were hungry for that would follow and for those who didn't went elsewhere. And myself and a lot of guys like myself were guys who bought into this vision, i.e. the grand experiment. You can do both. You can be a great athlete and be a good student. He was a visionary. And that's what he did so well. If you are a parent or you know, watching his program, you know, it's all based on past success. Graduation rates, success on the athletic field, you know, keeping guys out of trouble and keeping them focused while they're here. Uh, it's hard to argue with that. Even though at times a lot of guys didn't like it, didn't want to hear it, didn't want to feel the, the wrath of it, he really was that individual that did not mind being the fall guy or the bad guy and kicking us in our pants when we needed it most. And I think now that these guys were all on the other side of the fence and they're coaching young people, they're raising their own families, they're in marriages, you know, they're leaders in their churches, they're leaders in their companies, I think now they're, they're grateful for that, but at the time, I think he gave us what we needed, which was that tough love. And I think that is so important. And he didn't, didn't mince his words, didn't cut corners, but he gave us what we needed when we needed it most, when we were 18, 19, 20 years old.